One of the elements to different comps that I largely discount for the most part is consistency. Reason being, you can make a video when it works one time and just show off the high-end potential of a specific build when really it takes, you know, a few goes at it to try to get it to work. So we're going to take a look here. We're looking at some different special comps. We're going to try to see how consistent they really are, how difficult it is to get these comps going, and ultimately just kind of look at it from a different angle than we normally do and see just how effective that these comps really are because they can be strong, but they might not be consistent. If we can get a win with the mouth, homie, that would be huge. Oh, uh, we end up getting a draw, so that's fine. It's... We, we're not low on health and we have a mouse. That's about all you can really ask for in this kind of setup. We do find a double skelly dog too, which is... I mean, I'll take it. Obviously throwing the mouse up front. want to make sure we're not buffing our mouse, homie. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, okay, good hit. Good hit. We love it. And we draw. <laughs> Alright. We'll take it. Um, so I'm thinking we get some hummingbirds going here. We know that Skeledog is incredible. So, obviously we're going to keep going Skeledogs. Looking, oh, I was about to say looking good, and then they pop in a golden on us. If we could find a toy that would be incredible. I think we just go. The forage is a hard sell when you're trying to find all of these homies. And we do find a skelly dog here. Rock. Gonna have to do, I think. Okay, we're still running a mouse, somehow. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. And we, why did we never snipe the Rambutan? Rambutan, whatever. H how do you pronounce it? Anyone know? Or is that like one of the, one of the mysteries lost to the sands of time here? We're gonna go oven mitts, of course. Who do we, I mean, I guess we're keeping this homie. I don't love it, but <laughs> we're doing it. Okay, we do have a tier 5 coming up next turn. Hopefully a good one. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. The breakpoint started to go weird, but then the mana fixed it, and I don't know. <laughs> we're okay. It's working out. All right, we haven't run Nurse Shark yet, so I think we're gonna do something like that, maybe. Obviously you need Trumpets first, but I just saw Nurse Shark and I realized we haven't tried Nurse Shark yet. We'll see. It really depends on what you're offered, but we got the, the Trumpet side of it, maybe. This guy's going a lot of homies. But we're good. Fantastic. That's why it pays dividends to just full send a, a tier one and just scale him up. You don't even have to keep him that long. Like he's not a, he doesn't have to be permanent. Contrary to popular belief. It, you can just kind of hang out, do whatever. And then once you're ready to pivot, you're probably going to have enough hearts to do so is the idea. So the, the goal behind the seagull here is to get insta-sniped by a, a foam sword. So, so far so good. We're getting there. With an unfortunate snipe. Mains we draw. Um, and then when he's not getting sniped, our backup plan is going to be giving him a mushroom. And then... I don't know. <laughs> That's about as far as I got. We have a lot of homies that we can mushroom seagull. With. We could run Niala, we could run Skelly Dog. All sorts of stuff.
Okay. I mean, porridge is a little tempting when you're running a 10-4. But I still don't think it's going to be worth it. Okay, that was a good mana snipe. Is he going to work for us? Can he draw for us? Hi, Piper. No barking. Okay, so let's start here. I mean... <laughs> I mean... The Wildebeest is probably better than the Rock. But maybe we just run a Harpy Eagle. Because I don't know if we're going Nurse Shark, which to be fair, we haven't found any. But if we are going Nurse Shark, we're not going to want to run another homie that's going to use up all of our stuff, right? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Piranha is going to be pretty good if we can get a green pepper. I'm wondering if we just hold out, see if we find one. I mean, obviously we can't run peach, right? We got to go orange here. Um, okay. That was a fine hit, I suppose. We have the toy, the toy combo if we want it. I don't think we do. Well, now I do. <laughs> now I want it. Uh, well, there's our nurse shark. We can keep the nurse shark here. And the seagull. So we have to find mushroom on the seagull. Ideally, before we play the nurse shark. And then we don't have to put it on the nurse shark, too. But we'll see. An unfortunate snipe again. Let the break points work out for us. We get a draw. I think the Harpy Eagle is going to go for our Nurse Shark. That's the other thing. The Wildebeest is like, you can kind of do whatever with them, but the... The nurse shark needs a lot of upkeep, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really need to get a lot of trumpets for him. Um, so let's go here. Because, I, okay, here's my thought. We could also just sell the skelly dog. Because harp eagle is still pretty good. We do find the mushroom on homie. On our seagull. Um... I don't know which is better. Do you rather sell the Skeledog or the Harpy Eagle? I can see either way, to be honest. Okay, we're giving mushrooms to a ferret. That's probably not best interest. <laughs> we actually almost come out on top if he didn't have so many melons. Okay. Now we get rid of Skeledog. Let's try it. Right, because at least the Harpy Eagle is going to be a lot of support for just, like, layers of survival. Whereas the Skeledog is strictly just, like, a bit of scaling. Now let's keep in mind, you also can't put a Mushroom on the Skeledog, because then it's not going to go on the, our Nurse Shark from the Seagull. Same thing with the ne Neala. I think in theory... Oh, hello. In theory, we would rather have... Uh, do we, do we, yeah. do we, in theory, you would rather have a level 3, 50 health island cow. Right, because the level 3 Niala can't get to 50 without a mushroom. Hmm, unfortunate. Okay. Um, level U. The quicker we get the Nurse Shark going, the better our odds are going to be. We still have a lot of rounds to win. 
We're on turn 15 with four wins. <laughs> All right, let's see. Green pepper's doing work. Love it. Perfect. Oh, baby, we're doing it. See, now we just have too many nurse shark triggers. We gotta get our Niala leveled. I mean, we'll, <laughs> we'll get him level three. Without a doubt, that's good. It's one of those, he uses the same number of trumpets regardless of his level. You'd rather just get him level 3. Okay. A very fortunate snipe from the, <laughs> the sea serpent. Yeah, I don't think we were going to win that if it sniped any other way. Mm. Okay, 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 <laughs> alright. Next turn we're popping off. This is going to be fantastic. And we get enough for the, the homie. He can't get any more things. These are a few of my favorite things. Ooh, hello. Seagull coming in clutch with the mushroom. Okay, so at this point, at this point, if we don't win, we're never going to. So let's just kind of hope we do. We have an extra heart to kind of finagle around with. Let's see what we can manage here. Um, another, the exact same snipe as before. But then they snipe twice. And we're good. Okay. I really think the mana sea serpent combo is probably the best this weekly. We're definitely going to have to try it out. Where are all the seagulls? <laughs> we finally have enough trumpets for the last round of seagulls, and we can't find any. Oh my lord. This is the issue with this kind of team. We could try running like this, just hoping that our seagull doesn't get like tomatoed or something. I don't know. There's all the seagulls. Okay, I think this is fine. Oh. Well, I was worried about. I think we're still okay. Yeah, we're we're good. We're good. Our groundhog survives. These wins are very close. Because they just have infinite snipes. Come on, chocolate. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. okay. All right, we got the level three. I mean, this is as good as we're going to get. Let's see if we can cut it out. Okay, they don't have snipes. I think we're in a good spot. Oh, baby. Oh, maybe they do have snipes, just kidding. <laughs> oh, I hate it. It's such a struggle. It's like, these kind of teams that are very fragile are just absolutely horrible. They're not horrible. That's, that's too harsh. They're strong, but when there's so many snipes in the pack, it's too inconsistent to actually pull anything off. You're, you end up, you get the whole thing set up, you're doing great, and then one homie gets sniped and you lose. I was like, you know, especially when Sea Serpent is so prevalent, it's, it's not going to pan out for you most of the time. We did well, don't get me wrong, but... Love me a good Gibbon. Gecko, the Gibbon Gecko Squad. 
So it's actually better to run a Hummingbird here. As far as first turn win prospects. Alright, that didn't matter at all. <laughs> to be fair, he did find the absolute nuts. So, there's that. We're just running an egg here, call it a day. The egg is incredible. The egg is doing wonders. Alright, cool. A draw is the, all we're looking for there. Because now we get a puppy. Fantastic news. Alright, what are we going for here? I mean, I don't love the, the tier twos this week. Maybe we just try to find some level ups on our tier ones. Okay, run it like this. We got a solid gradient cook in here. The primordial doodads. Love it. The mana, the thunderbird. Maybe we build into something. I don't know. There's another one. Do we sell? We do. What's the hummingbird really doing for us, you know? What's that bird doing? I think we also need to keep in mind that we don't really care about the, the gibbon. He's a tier one with an egg. Not necessary in the long run. And we draw. Okay. So be it. Alright. Give me a level. See what we get here. Well, that's just bad news. Bad news bears right there. Hmm. Another puppy. It's like, I want to keep the gecko, but what the heck is he even going to do here? Short of using him alongside like a Gariel and going for some sort of toy snipe something or another. Like, what are you really doing? <laughs> Bless me. Use me. <laughs> Alright. So we finally find a mana, homie. That's a good start. Alley Greyhound. Alley Greyhound followed on by the egg onslaught behind him. Love it. Okay. Egg's doing work. Eggs trying to do work, and it it pays off. Alrighty, it's always tempting to run a shoe bill. It's just like is it's so difficult to find strawberries this week because they only have the one tier one. You know what I'm saying? I think when it when you have an open slot and you're kind of just rolling down, it couldn't hurt. Of course, we don't find any, but <laughs> that's kind of the point, right? We weren't really expecting to. And we draw again. We find a pill before we find a... Okay, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna run it like this. I 
I mean, I'd rather not for a squad. I can just toss you in as like a, a warm body, maybe. Ooh, the egg comes in handy. Uh, we're still gonna lose. Oh, okay, that's a lot of puppies. Get a level up, see what we're going for here. Mantis Shrimp is very good. I think we freeze puppy here. Try to get him level three, maybe. Okay. Ooh, we got the snipe before he got more mana. That's huge. The egg is also coming through. Similarly huge. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we can get a level three Cali Greyhound. I think that's gonna put us in a pretty good spot here. Um, that worked out not in our favor. <laughs> That was actually pretty bad. Um, we do we do end up winning though, okay. Um we find the level three puppy as well, which is huge. So we can go here. And now I'm always down. I mean The Puma gives us another two three. It, it's like okay. We could also run Highland Cow and just get three lasagnas right out, right out of the gate. Like maybe we just don't run any of it. You know what I'm saying? Here's my thought: if we find somebody that would be a good scaler, next turn we can throw the Puma in just to get an extra homie, or just swap, swap him for a Mosasaurus maybe. Almost got this, the early snipe. Hmm, that's not gonna cut it. See, this is why Harpy Eagle is so good. Um, Cali Greyhound, perfect. I think we're getting rid of you. Throw the Mosasaurus here. Honestly, maybe Mantis Room too. So we're, we're dropping our power level. Yeah, we got another Highland Cow. Okay, running like this. We're dropping our power level, but I think our spike after the this turn is going to be much higher. So I think it'll be worth it. I'm hoping it'll be worth it. We just barely squeak by with a draw. All right, <laughs> four lasagnas. Feeling like Garfield out here, we eating good. Okay, see like already he's at 27 health. I think we do, maybe just freeze. No, let's get the level three going. That's huge. Which means we can run Mosasaurus here. And then we'll look for a Mosasaurus level and or I don't know, something else. <laughs> I'm not sure what else. Another instance of someone running the Sea Serpent with no no real mana synergy behind it. Interesting. Um, we're looking for levels. There's also the slime near we could do. I feel like we're focused on getting the Highland Cow, but the slip near is an option. It'll help enable our our homie a little bit more. 
<laughs> okay. Yikes. Alright. We managed to squeak out with another draw. Somehow. Don't ask me. Okay. So our dogs are looking good. What a weird saying. I think we can kind of... I mean... It's very important to get you really high health. But I also want to make sure that the Cali Greyhound is able to get mana from his Ramatan, Ramatan, whatever it's called. Maybe we do run a slept near. We'll see. Actually. Hold on, let's see what we get here. We find. Because if we find, if we go, I would like to get waffles. I'll put it that way. But I think this is fine if we just run a stingray with the puma. That's going to get our Sleipnir really high statted right away. Especially with the Mosasaurus. We just need to not lose two in a row. Is that too much to ask? Maybe. Clearly not when we have the legs of a Highland Cow. Highland Cow is just too good. He's just so strong. Something about him. Because it's also a very strong unit. And then it gets all the trumpets too. So here's how we're going to have to play this. We're going to run... Go to the Stingray, we're going to put Sleipnir up front. So this is the turn we can lose if we need to. Level 2 Puma is incredible. Another Sleipnir is great. Into Chocolate, okay. Um, I, th I think this placement is good. I think I like this. Lepnir is going to be very strong after this toy activates. Oh, we're looking a little dicey until then. <laughs> Actually, we're totally good. What the heck? Well, that's got good prospects for our future. We're at turn 17 with 5 wins. And we're only going up from here. Already at 30-29. That's amazing. Alright, so we're probably getting rid of the Mosasaurus. If we can find another good toy. We are not finding a toy. Unfortunately. I don't know if that was like a sea serpent. How good would that be? Oh, what else? Not much. I'm kind of just hanging on to the, the chocolate right now. Just for like when we need it eventually. Because there's not a whole lot to put it on right here. You can put it on a Highland Cow and try to get a 50 whatever, but like... What's the point? Okay. If everybody has green peppers, I guess it's pretty strong. Maybe we get our own. Toss in our own green pepper. A little bit of chocolate. Come on. Ooh, <laughs> this is perfect. Level two sea serpent coming next turn. is so over. This is looking incredible. Okay. We're at six wins. We're flying through the ranks now. I think we get rid of the Puma here. We don't need him. Another Sea Serpent. Instantly level 2.33 repeating of course. This guy is huge. This team is ginormous. But this is what I'm saying, like, 
it doesn't matter because these two are so strong. You got Cali Greyhound and you got the Serpent. Cali Greyhound just nukes all of the big homies, and the Sea Serpent just nukes the less big homies. Apologies if you can hear the dog in the back. Piper! Piper, you're loud over there. Okay. We're getting our Sea Serpent leveled. Hi, Piper. Beautiful. Team's looking good. The beauty of this team is we're actually able to handle 50-50s. Which we're gonna see a lot of, I think, on turn 21. I think it's probably about time we try to get this Highland Cow level 3. Looking good. Now the turtles are putting a melon on nobody. Alright, last one. Can we clutch it out? The odds of us getting Highland level 3 are probably slim. I'll freeze him for one turn. Yeah, no. I mean, maybe. Because we could also lose, right? In which case, we want to have the Highland Cow backup plan. But like, rather have the Mantis Shrimp this turn, you know what I'm saying? Alright, <laughs> okay, okay. If we lose, we have the Highland level 3. But like, this team is insane. There's no way we're gonna lose right now. Right? Right? Yeah, we're good. All good. And that's what I'm saying, dude. You get these two in the front with the slipe near, it's cooked. Absolutely cooked. This is one of my favorite comps, I think, of the weekly. It's just so... This is a consistent comp. It doesn't matter who gets sniped, they're gonna get sniped and they're gonna get schmumped. That's just how it is.